cephalopod is any member of the molluscan class cephalopoda. These exclusively marine animals are characterized by bilateral body symmetry, a prominent head, and a set of arms or tentacles, muscular hydrostats, modified from the primitive molluscan foot. Fishermen sometimes call them ink fish, referring to their common ability to squirt ink. The study of cephalopods is a branch of malacology known as toothology. Cephalopods became dominant during the Ordovician period, represented by primitive nautiloids. The class now contains two, only distantly related, extant subclasses, Coleoidea, which includes octopuses, squid, and cuttlefish, and Nautiloidea, represented by Nautilus and Ilanautilus. In the Coleoidea, the molluscan shell has been internalized or is absent, whereas in the Nautiloidea, the external shell remains. About 800 living species of cephalopod have been identified. Two important extinct toxa are the Anoidea, Ammonites, and Bolumnoidea, Bolumnites. Distribution There are over 800 extant species of cephalopod, although new species continue to be described. An estimated 11,000 extinct toxa have been described, although the soft bodied nature of cephalopods means they are not easily fossilized. Cephalopods are found in all the oceans of Earth. None of them can tolerate fresh water, but the brief squid, Lolygoncula brevis, found in Chesapeake Bay, may be a notable exception in that it tolerates brackish water. Cephalopods occupy most of the depth of the ocean, from the abyssal plain to the sea surface. Their diversity is greatest near the equator, tilde 40 species retrieved in nets at 11 degrees in biodiversity study, and decreases towards the poles, tilde 5 species captured at 60 degrees in. Nervous System and Behavior Cephalopods are widely regarded as the most intelligent of the invertebrates, and have well-developed senses and large brains, larger than those of gastropods. The nervous system of cephalopods is the most complex of the invertebrates and their brain-to-body mass ratio falls between that of endothermic and ectothermic vertebrates. The brain is protected in a cartilaginous cranium. The giant nerve fibers of the cephalopod mantle have been widely used for many years as experimental material in neurophysiology, their large diameter, due to lack of myelination, makes them relatively easy to study compared with other animals. Cephalopod have also been known to climb out of their aquaria, maneuver a distance of the lab floor, enter another aquarium to feed on the crabs and return to their own aquarium. Cephalopods are social creatures, when isolated from their own kind, they will sometimes shoal with fish. Some cephalopods are able to fly through the air for distances of up to 50 meters. While cephalopods are not particularly aerodynamic, they achieve these impressive ranges by jet propulsion. Water continues to be expelled from the funnel while the organism is in the air. The animals spread their fins and tentacles to form wings and actively control lift force with body posture. One species, Totorods pacificus, has been observed spreading tentacles in a flat fan shape with a mucus film between the individual tentacles while another, Sepiachuthis sepiadea has been observed putting the tentacles in a circular arrangement. Senses, cephalopod have advanced vision, can detect gravity with statocysts, and have a variety of chemical sense organs. Octopuses use their arms to explore their environment and can use them for depth perception. Vision, most cephalopods rely on vision to detect predators and prey and to communicate with one another. Consequently, cephalopod vision is acute, training experiments have shown that the common octopus can distinguish the brightness, size, shape, and horizontal or vertical orientation of objects.
the morphological construction gives cephalopod eyes the same performance as sharks, however, their construction differs, as cephalopods lack a cornea, and have an everted retina. Cephalopods eyes are also sensitive to the plane of polarization of light. Surprisingly, given their ability to change color, all octopi and most cephalopods are color blind. When camouflaging themselves, they use their chromatophores to change brightness and pattern according to the background they see, but their ability to match the specific color of a background may come from cells such as iridophores and leucophores that reflect light from the environment. They also produce visual pigments throughout their body, and may sense light levels directly from their body. Evidence of color vision has been found in the sparkling Enope's quid, Watsonia scintillans, which achieves color vision by the use of three distinct retinal molecules, A1, sensitive to red, A2, to purple, and A4, to yellow, which bind to its absin. Unlike many other cephalopods, nautiluses did not have good vision, their eye structure is highly developed, but lacks a solid lens. They have a simple pinhole eye through which water can pass. Instead of vision, the animal is thought to use olfaction as the primary sense for foraging, as well as locating or identifying potential mates. Hearing Some squids have been shown to detect sound using their statocysts. Use of light Most cephalopods possess chromatophores colored pigment cells that expand and contract in accordance with their counterparts to produce color and pattern, which they can use in a startling array of fashions. As well as providing camouflage with their background, some cephalopods bioluminesce, shining light downwards to disguise their shadows from any predators that may lurk below. The bioluminescence is produced by bacterial symbionts, the host cephalopod is able to detect the light produced by these organisms. Bioluminescence may also be used to entice prey, and some species use colorful displays to impress mates, startle predators, or even communicate with one another. It is not certain whether bioluminescence is actually of epithelial origin or if it is a bacterial production. Coloration Further Information Animal coloration and category animals that can change color, cephalopods can change their colors and patterns in milliseconds, whether for signaling, both within the species and for warning, or active camouflage, as their chromatophores are expanded or contracted. Coloration is typically stronger in near-shore species than those living in the open ocean whose functions tend to be restricted to disruptive camouflage. Evidence of original coloration has been detected in cephalopod fossils dating as far back as the Silurian, these orthoconic individuals bore concentric stripes, which are thought to have served as camouflage. Devonian cephalopods bear more complex color patterns, of unknown function. Ink with the exception of the Nautilidae and the species of octopus belonging to the suborder Serena, all known cephalopod have an ink sac, which can be used to expel a cloud of dark ink to confuse predators. This sac is a muscular bag which originated as an extension of the hind gut. It lies beneath the gut and opens into the anus, into which its contents, almost pure melanin, can be squirted. Its proximity to the base of the funnel means the ink can be distributed by ejected water as the cephalopod uses its jet propulsion. The ejected cloud of melanin is usually mixed, upon expulsion, with mucus, produced elsewhere in the mantle, and therefore forms a thick cloud, resulting in visual, and possibly chemosensory, impairment of the predator, like a smoke screen. However, a more sophisticated behavior has been observed, in which the cephalopod releases a cloud, with a greater mucus content, that approximately resembles the cephalopod that released it, 
This decoy is referred to as a pseudomorph. This strategy often results in the predator attacking the pseudomorph, rather than its rapidly departing prey. For more information, see inking behaviors. The inking behavior of cephalopods has led to a common name of inkfish, primarily used in fisheries science and the fishing industry, paralleling the terms white fish, oily fish, and shellfish. Circulatory system Cephalopods are the only mollusks with a closed circulatory system. Coleoids have two gill hearts, also known as branchial hearts that move blood through the capillaries of the gills. A single systemic heart then pumps the oxygenated blood through the rest of the body. Like most mollusks, cephalopods use hemocyanin, a copper-containing protein, rather than hemoglobin, to transport oxygen. As a result, their blood is colorless when deoxygenated and turns blue when exposed to air. Respiration Cephalopods exchange gases with the seawater by forcing water through their gills, which are attached to the roof of the organism. Water enters the mantle cavity on the outside of the gills, and the entrance of the mantle cavity closes. When the mantle contracts, water is forced through the gills, which lie between the mantle cavity and the funnel. The water's expulsion through the funnel can be used to power jet propulsion. The gills, which are much more efficient than those of other mollusks, are attached to the ventral surface of the mantle cavity. There is a trade-off with gill size regarding lifestyle. To achieve fast speeds, gills need to be small, water will be passed through them quickly when energy is needed, compensating for their small size. However, Organisms which spend most of their time moving slowly along the bottom did not naturally pass much water through their cavity for locomotion, thus they have larger gills, along with complex systems to ensure that water is constantly washing through their gills, even when the organism is stationary. The water flow is controlled by contractions of the radial and circular mantle cavity muscles. The gills of cephalopods are supported by a skeleton of robust fibrous proteins, the lack of mucopolysaccharides distinguishes this matrix from cartilage. The gills are also thought to be involved in excretion, with NH4 plus being swapped with K plus from the seawater. Locomotion and Buoyancy